What's up, guys? How you doing? <laughs> no, I'm joking. These things are awful. I found these lying around on the beach. Like, just lying on the beach. No surprise, they're really ugly. Anyway, let's get started with today's video. Right, it's about phones, okay? This is a tech video. Today, we're going to be talking about loading Oreo onto S7 Edges. So, I don't know if you guys have S7 Edges. Okay, well, it's obviously in the title of the video. So, if you have an S7 Edge, obviously you've clicked on the video and you want Oreo on your S7 Edge. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can get Oreo on your S7 Edge, whether it's released in your country or not. So, Quick self-promotion, before you guys carry on with this video, can you please, I'm begging of you, please go to my Instagram, check out my Instagram, look at my photography, and follow me if you guys like what you see. Can you can you do that for me? Like, I'm going to make this whole video for you guys, can you? No, I'm joking. If you guys have a look, if you like it, that's cool. If you don't like it, well, oh well. Alright, anyway, let's carry on with the video. Alright, so, we've got the laptop up and running, we've got the phone connected. Now, what do we do? What do we do? To put Oreo on that S7 Edge right over there. First things first, let's organize the phone so the phone is ready, right? So, you're gonna need the phone. The phone is gonna need to be in download mode. Home button, power button, and the volume down button. Hold them all down simultaneously. And once it's decided it wants to work, it will go into download mode. There you go, it's a download mode. You're then going to push continue. And you can now put the phone down because you can't do anything while it's in download mode. Now we head over to the laptop. Alright, so these are the files you're gonna need, except for this bottom one. You don't need that file. That file is just there for me. This is called Odin and it's the patched version. This is the only one that seemed to work for me. The other Odin didn't work, even the the, the version 13 of uh, 3.13 didn't work for me. I had to get this patched version. I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can get the patched one straight up and not have to worry. So you're just gonna go ahead and extract that, and just close that. Extract this, and you're gonna get this file here. Then, once you've done that, you're going to wanna launch it. Make sure you run it as administrator because it gives your computer more permissions. So now it's going to just do this, so yes. And you will see this little intimidating little window. The most important part right now is to make sure that this little thing here, this little COM16 little icon is blue. If it's not blue, it means that your phone is not connected properly and that it's not working. The second most important is when you go to options, make sure only auto reboot and only f.reset time is checked. Make sure NAND re erase and repartition is not checked and flash lock is not checked. Leave those off. So only re reset, f reset and auto reboot, only those can be checked. So basically leave it as it is when you extract it. All right, don't change, leave options tab alone, and don't click on pit, leave the pit alone. Now, let's do this. All right, you're gonna, all you wanna do now is click the check buttons, like that, and click on BL. It's gonna open up this little window here. Just go up to the folder that you stored your download in. Mine is under new folder. That is it, yep, there it is. In the Samsung, in the extraction file, the file that you extracted, the firmware file, then you're going to look for the file that says BL and basically just go encode with the with the letters. AP takes a while, so I'll do that one last. CP will be next. Then you're going to take CSC. Now, if you want to reset your phone, you're going to take CSC. If you want your phone to stay as it is, you're going to take home CSC. This won't erase your phone. This will leave your phone on with all its stuff on still. But this one here, this will factory reset it. So don't use that one unless you actually want to factory reset your phone. I suggest using this one. This is the one I'm going to use. So you click open. Then all you do is go to AP, click AP, hit AP, say open. It takes quite a while to open up the AP file. So don't stress if it takes a little bit long. All right, now it's done. So all you're going to go do is click start. And you will see it'll do all those little things up top there. And you'll see a little line will appear on your smartphone. Um, over there. It'll match the line up there. 
and when it's done your phone will start rebooting. It doesn't take long, it reboots quite fast, especially now on Oreo. So just stand by, make yourself a cup of tea and come back when it's finished. Alright, it's done. My phone is booting up. As you can see it says pass, which means that it succeeded. There's the mouse. Okay, it succeeded, passed, it's done. That little thing's gone green. It tells you how long it took. Apparently it took 3 minutes 34 seconds. That's quite a while actually. Now remember your phone's gonna take quite a while to boot up the first time, so don't stress. Like it, it does take quite a while. Don't worry about it. The phone started up. Right there, you see Android is upgrading. It's gonna upgrade all your apps, which means that you still got all your stuff. And you'll see it'll be exactly like I left it. Right, it's on. See those little lights will flash, that means it's working. Come on, start quicker, start quicker. <laughs> I'm very impatient, okay. Now it's gone off. Don't panic, it's not dead. Yours is also doing that, don't worry. It turns on. Okay, there, you see my always on is still on. I'm going to just unlock my phone quickly. I have to use my pattern, so I don't really want you guys seeing my pattern for whatever reason. There you go, it's on. Everything works. Swap sideways, that will load eventually, don't feel like waiting for it. Okay, just bear in mind, this isn't the Samsung launcher, this is the Google launcher. Um, Pixel launcher 2, so not the same launcher that you'll get if once you've updated it, yours will look a little bit different. But it's a nice launcher. If you guys want this launcher, I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys can actually pick it up. You don't need root for it, it's it's um it's called Pixelless, uh, Rootless Pixel Launcher, sorry, not Pixelless, Rootless Pixel Launcher. And it just it just looks really nice. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button right down in the corner of the video, somewhere on the screen. Um, hit that subscribe button so you guys can check out some more videos like this. And then if you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a comment and I will reply. Um, also, if you need to, you can email me. My link, my email address is down in the description of the video, uh, monocromance at gmail.com. So just go ahead and email me. I can get back to you and we can discuss something. Otherwise, if you don't feel like emailing or you don't do the email thing, go ahead to Instagram and just direct message me at DRH Visuals. Also, link down in the description. Thank you guys very much for watching the video. Really appreciate the views. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.